Hey gang, welcome back to Vigilus Oculus, a very cool mini CTM map created by Fangride. You guys really seem to be enjoying this map so far, and I think for good reason. It is pretty dang cool, and I've been having a lot of fun with it so far. Uh, now one thing I want to do before we move into the next area, well two things actually. First, uh, I've noticed that there are a lot of mob sounds when I'm hanging out here at my base, and I just realized there's darkness down there. Mm-hmm. So we are going to check that out. I actually think I want to go down along the wall here just so I don't drop down into anything that may be nasty. It's been driving me nuts, and I didn't realize that there's all this right down here. Look at this. Interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going down here or not, but darn it, I'm going to check things out. So let's just do a little bit of that. We'll let the lava bucket do its work. I'm going to find out if there's anything important down here. I'm very curious now that I finally found out where all these mob sounds were coming from. My goodness. Now this could just be a place for mobs to spawn so that they're not elsewhere. I think the map making term is something like honeypot. Um, so that could be the case. Or this could be some super secret amazing place full of loot that will make the rest of the map super easy for me. You just never know. So let's go check it out. Regardless, I'm going to light the heck out of this area so mobs will shut up when I'm hanging out at my base. My goodness. Okay, y'all gonna die. Y'all gonna die. Ow. Who? Who? Ooh. Nope. Nope. Don't need none of that. Nice. Oh boy. Don't need none of you neither. There you are, you little short butt. Once I kill these mobs off, I'm gonna double check on my sound settings, because I think... I may have game sounds a little too high. We'll see. All right, just take care of this baby. Take care of the spider. And let's see. Eh, it's decent. Okay, let's have a little munch on a tater. And we're going to find out just what the heck is going on down here. Seriously. This is a rather large area. Huh. Am I supposed to be down here? There's a lot of, lot of skellies I don't really need to hang out with right now. I should at least light up the area that's directly underneath my base, because the mob sounds get really annoying. Is this anything or not? I really cannot tell. Oh! I thought I heard a second creeper. I wasn't sure. Um, so this seems to be in a somewhat circular pattern. I've got to remind myself I don't have much enchanted gear anymore. I have mostly just basic iron right now. So I don't want to get too cocky as I go through all these all these mob spawns. Hmm. This is very mysterious. This could just be honeypot type stuff, I suppose. Just give the mobs a place to spawn. Although, no. Because then he would just make like a little hole in the ground for them to spawn in. Wouldn't bother laying out like an actual path type area, right? Hi, Shovel Zombie. I'm so confused right now. I have so many feels. I don't understand them. So many questions. What are you getting at here, Fangride? What are you getting at? You're making me use a lot of torches, I know that much. And kaboink! And kaboink! And we'll try to get into melee range. Oh, okay. He'll just die. Boink. Boink. Uh, is this a dead... Oh, this does go down further. Oh, I'm so curious. What is up with this area? I'm serious. I just... I just don't know. <laughs> well, you know what? Instead of spending a lot of time on camera plumbing these dark depths, I may just ask Fangride real quick if this is actually worth, you know, poking around in. And if so, we'll definitely come revisit this area. But so far, like I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. It's just been more of these tunnels kind of going on and on. There's no, haven't been any loot chests. There's no ambient lighting or anything like that. So yeah, I think we're going to leave it be for right now and check out other things. So one more thing I want to do before we you know, tackle a brand new area is I want to go back to the second wool area I conquered. And if you remember, there was ooh, a carrot. There was a 
kind of in the enchanting slash brewing wizardy type of area, there was a nether portal, an active nether portal, and I want to check that out, see if there's any kind of nethery business that we're meant to do. So I'm going to cut here, I'm going to get us back over there, and we're going to check that out. So I'll see you guys in a split second due to the power of editing. All right, here we are back in this place that got all burned to heck. <laughs> that was so funny. And I made this little staircase, and we're going to hop up here, and we're going to check this out. And I believe this is a fully functional portal. Yeah? Yeah? Now, Fangride hasn't had any trolley traps of any kind so far. I'm still a little wary about this, but my curiosity is stronger. So we're going to see if there's anything going on here. I should have brought... This is water. This is water. <laughs> no! Oh, whoa, hey. What was that? I heard... Oh, texture pack, why you do this to me? I heard the sounds. What is going on here? Is this... Oh. I heard the portal sounds, and I saw the color behind here, and I thought it was portal, but it's just water. Oh! I should really just not even put this in the episode, but that's so derpy, I'm going to show it anyway, because that's so me. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're going to go check out the next wool area. So we're going to see if there's anything going on here. I should have brought... This is water. Alright, I've gotten some derps out of the way. I'm sure there will be many more in the future, but yeah okay so we're doing wool dungeon 3 the archive of argus we only have one more wool to collect the red wool and then we also have the diamond block um fangride left a comment on one of the videos that worried me about how i need to conserve diamonds when i find them so i was really worried that oh crap i already made a diamond sword i hope there's going to be enough diamonds where i can actually make the block i need and he said not to worry there are about 30 or so diamonds in the map something like that but I do need to keep that in mind, that uh, I'm not going to just find a big chest full of diamond blocks, probably. Okay, so, hello all the magma cubes. Now these guys, I do not believe that I can light up their spawner to take care of it. So I'm going to need to come down here, and I'm going to need to kill it with fire. No, not with fire, with picks. Hello, Skelly, please don't shoot me so I can break this. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. I guess I could get the creeper to do my job? Oh, but there's a loot chest, or a, probably a story chest, actually. So I want that to be not destroyed. I want you to be very destroyed, though, sir. And I need to take out the spawner before these guys get too out of hand. Oh, oh, they're getting out of hand. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, my sword's getting destroyed. One thing I would love to have is an Unbreaking 3 book. Whether I could make it... Oh my gosh! Oh my... Oh, oh, I'm getting hurt! Holy crap! Pay attention, Cthulhu! Holy crap! Just do that. Oh wow, that did almost no healing. What kind of po what kind of pots are those? Instant health? I guess, yeah, if it's instant health one and it's a splash potion. Yeah, it's not gonna do a whole heck of a lot of good. Alright, let's take care of this. There we go. And we're just gonna leave them alone for right now, let them hopefully despawn or something. Is this gonna be more of the same? Boink. Oh, we got these guys. Ah, I always forget they drop those pots. Okay, let's just get a little bit of lighting going on here. <laughs> They're still spawning in the ground. Derpy as ever. Gotta love them, right? Bless their hearts. Bless their little hearts. Okay, I'm actually kind of worried about those... Oh, gosh! Oh, oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. Do a little bit of that. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> There's a lot of guys right there, so let's just keep moving. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some regen, actually. Uh-oh. Especially if, if I'm making an ender friend. That's a witch. Oh, boy. I don't like this. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> Probably going to get deeper and deeper in trouble. How long have you been following me, guy? So you're, oh, gosh. I have all the people following me. Let's make a let's make a box. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. No. No. No, get out of here, witch! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh this is so bad. I'm derping so hard right now. Oh. Oh, okay, regen on the bar. 
Dang, yo. That was a lot of stuff, and I did not handle that well at all. Okay, unfortunately, my sweet sword is getting busted up, and I do not want that to fully break. So I'm going to have to switch. Um, oh, come on, XP. Let's not do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's peek out a little bit. What the heck? That must... Be, okay, that must be a mob. I'm like, that block is not angled correctly for Minecraft. <laughs> are you a mob? Yeah, you are. You silly guy, you. That looked really cool, though. I like it. Um, okay. Is it safe to continue? Safe-ish, <laughs> relatively speaking. Okay, we made it to the top. And that's just going to be more of the same. Yeah. I really want to... Oh, I was just about to, like, look over that balcony there. But, uh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't, because this guy was waiting for me. He was like, yeah, yeah, go look at it, Cthulhu. Go look at it. You'll like it. I'll shoot you off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. I do want to get back to the entrance, though, and check out the book. The Tale of Argus is what I'm assuming it's going to be. Uh, I'm just going to kill you. Take your levels. Okay, let's back up a little bit. That was, that was nuts. That got out of hand really fast. Whoa. Hello. Um, so there's lava down there. I think, okay, there's a chest right there, but that was also near witch spawners. Uh, I don't know. I really feel like I should go back down there and check stuff out, though. I'm torn. I'm very torn. Am I, uh, why am I, hmm. Sorry, I've been getting really framey all of a sudden here and there. I don't know why that would be. I haven't changed any settings, and my computer should be doing just fine. All right, let's read another Argus's tale. Argus did too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold on to this. <laughs> if it's a continuation of something else we were already supposed to have read about, I don't really want to spoil it. Hi, guy. I see you. Okay, so I'm using an unenchanted sword. I have to remind myself of that. Don't get cocky. You have unenchanted gear, unenchanted sword, thou must be if careful, if. Oh, this is cool. This is where the archive comes in. Dang it, another tail. Wait a second, so I just picked up 20, and this is 22. Where the heck is 21? Let's see what spawns here, I'm curious. I don't know if it's going to be something terrible or something normal. Hello? I see I see you. I see you, chest. Oh, dang it. Was that a witch? If it was, it's a dead witch now. <laughs> okay, so maybe we're supposed to go off in the other direction if this is book 22 that's here. So let's go check that out. So far, this place is looking absolutely epic. I'm worried about it, given by <laughs> how poorly I handled the, the first area. But uh, it looks epic. And I know about this kind of area. Oh, yeah. Prot three, I could use you. I could use you right about now. Okay, but still unbreaking. I would, I would commit mass murder for an unbreaking three book right now. Pop, pop that on my sweet sword so I don't have to worry about it running out so fast. Mm. Oh, that'd be good stuff. Okay, we're going up this precarious staircase. Gosh darn it, witches! Now, were you a natural spawn witch, or, or were you meant to be here? That's what I'm worried about. All right, so we are going to light things profusely because the fewer witches that are in my life, the better. Because as everybody knows, witches be crazy. Um, okay, so there's not a whole lot going on up here. I've already used up a crap ton of torches. I brought just shy of three stacks of torches. Now I have just barely more than one stack. So, yeah. You can't, uh... I can't say I haven't been lighting things up. I'm gonna light you up. Oh, zombie trains! You're so annoying! Oh, fix your game, Jeb. I guess it... it... it works. I'm gonna quit whining about it so much. It makes sense. Oh, no! No! Not you again! Why? Why, Fangride? Why? Why you do this? Oh, the babies. The babies. 
There's 21. Okay. Oh, babies. No. Babies are the worst. The absolute worst. Okay, um, well, I'm going to switch back to my good sword for a little while until we can find their little nest and take it out. Oh, babies. And three of them right off the bat. Where did they come from? Wait, where did they come from? Oh, oh, was that it down there? Aha! Oh, my. He wanted to have quite a greeting party there. Okay, that could have gone worse. That could have gone worse. For now, we're going to do that. No, more babies! Oh, uh, the poison is so OP. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's go make sure that that does not happen again. Is there anything in you? I can never tell if those are meant to have stuff or if they're just meant to be decoration. Seems like for the most part, they're meant to be decoration. Hmm, there's no loot in these rooms? I kind of expected there to be loot. I was kind of hoping there would be loot. Okay. Okay. So are these like dormitories for the librarians of the archive? Something like that? Be kind of a cool idea. Okay, let's switch back to the underpowered sword for general hacking and slashing. Oh, that looks so cool. I like that. Oh, <laughs> toothbrush. <laughs> I've got to take that. I've got to take that. Sunflower, egg, seeds, bucket. I got a toothbrush! I got a toothbrush. I got a toothbrush. I can use it on my tentacles. Okay, so this looks like a pretty normal room, except it has a skelly in it. Whoa! It has all the skellies in it. Holy cow! Okay. Interesting. So y'all just start fighting amongst yourselves. So I can... Ow! Ow! Stab! Ah! Oh my gosh, that is so annoying, all the knocking around. Oh, skellies. Oh, <laughs> that's so annoying. I bet my armor took quite a beating there. Now, I did see a spider at the other end of the hallway. I'm hoping against hope that it is not a baby. I hope it's a full-grown arachnid that will not poison me. Uh, yeah, that took quite a beating. <laughs> it's a good thing I have plenty of iron. Oh, it's you guys. Okay, I need a few more torches here before I press on too much further. Ugh, that's not many. More y'all. I can handle y'all. You're a slight headache because you split up and all that. But you're not too terrible. Um, uh, okay. So you guys are going to keep spawning, though. That's the thing. Where are you? Are you something as obvious as in the center here? I oh! You just gave away your brethren, little guy. Good job. What a scumbag. Oh, speaking of scumbag. There we go. Give me those levels. Thank you. Let's check out this little room here. Aha! Here's what I've been looking for. <laughs> I'll take you. I'll take you. Oh, I'll take all you. Mm. And I think I'll switch to that, so I'll start using that up instead. I have plenty of bottles, so I don't need you in my inventory. Ooh! And... Yeah. We'll do that for now. Whoa! Okay, so this is your bedroom. I apologize for intruding on your bedroom, sir. Call. What kind of pathing was that? How did he even know I was in there? For serious. Hymeny. <laughs> Creeper's gonna creep. <laughs> Witches, you are the worst. Okay, so I'm gonna block off that left path when I get the chance. Dang it. Come on, zombie. I'm trying to shoot a witch here. Oh, I completely biffed that one. That was silly. Did she still splash me? She totally did. She totes did. Okay, I'm gonna deal with you later. I'm gonna deal with you now-ish. Gonna eat some meat. Gonna let you come around the corner. Ow! Come around the corner. And you're gonna die. And what do we have over here? More bedrooms, probably with creepers in them. 
more babies. And more things to sword. There we go. Take you out, because you are super obnoxious. And is this a dead end? Just with some rooms? Okay. That's nice. So now we know what we're dealing with. Is this a trap? No. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a time trap. Because if so, I will completely fall into it. Oh, is this supposed to be like the latrine or something? That would be pretty funny. I'm going to go ahead and use that since I have another one at home. I would love to enchant it though. Oh. Oh, and I do have 30 levels. Why did I not bring it in? Mm. I guess I don't... I still don't have a full level 30 enchantment set up, though. Ooh! You know what? I should probably put you on here. Eh, yeah, we're gonna do that. That instant health pot does not really do very much at all. Okay. So now we can check out the witch area that I blocked off. Which area is that, Cthulhu? <laughs> Sorry. Now we got double witches to deal with. Or is that triple? Oh, that's trip witch. That's too much witch. We'll just shoot their toes. Ha ha ha! Okay. Let's get in there. Let's do all the lighting. Oh, I see that. Light. Just light all the things. I can always make more torches. I brought stuff with me. There we go. Light all the things. Skeletons shooting at the Ender Friends. Okay, let's go take out that spawner, whatever it was. Boink. One thing I don't like about this texture pack is maybe I'm just not paying attention, but it's a little tricky to tell what spawners are what. Okay, that one was obvious. That was an Enderman spawner. Um, but yeah, just a minor gripe there. Okay, now if I can, let's take this opportunity to make some torches. And I do have some sticks on me. I think those drop from the witches? No, I did not do that. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit more. I'm probably spawning things in the next room, though, I can tell. Boink. There we go. A little more torches. Never hurt anybody. Unless you have a torch phobia. Ah, <sighs> more witches. At least I have my infinity bow. I love this bow. And it's, it's pretty decent. It'll, it doesn't one-shot stuff, but it a few shots stuff. Okay, I'm going to shot you. <clears throat> Ow. Oh, no. No, Fangride. No. Poison spiders and a bunch of witches. Oh, you are a bad person. You are a bad person. It's almost like he asked me, Hey, Cthulhu, what are your least favorite components of Minecraft? Let me put them together in this area for you. Actually, this still isn't as bad as the first wool area I checked out. I will not lie about that. Okay, what do we have here? Saber of the Master. So this is like our first custom loot, I think. <gasps> Sharpness 3, knockback 2, fire aspect 2, looting 1. And that is... Okay, it's an iron sword. I want to get the the texture right. I'm still I'm going to use that definitely. I'll probably worry about keeping my other one repaired better just because it is a higher sharpness level. Boots of the divine. But I will definitely use this. Ooh, diamond booties. Uh I don't need you. I said I don't need you. And should I use those or should I Hmm. I'll hold on to them for now until my current boots break. I was really hoping for some custom enchants on that, but still nice having diamond gear, regardless. Okay, so that was it for this area, this part of the area. We still have the actual archives to go to, though. Okay, now one thing I am tempted to do is go back to base and enchant some stuff. Actually, yes, I should do that, because that'll give me a chance to go back through the area I just kind of sprinted through before because I was scared and I was taking owies. Um, so this way I'll be able to get that other book, and then we can kind of catch up on where we are in the storyline, and hopefully pacify that area a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do that on my way out. I'll re-gear off camera, and then we will uh, retake this area. Okay, so let's go do that. Let's eat some more foods. And there's no reason to go down the other staircase that I can tell, since I already started lighting this one up. So we'll just continue on this way. And I'll look for spawners to take out as well. 
And I think, aren't there spawners like in the center here? No? Okay, I thought there were. So there's this over here, and there was a witch here, so I want to make sure that this is lit well enough. And this is another portcullis thing, there's definitely stuff on the other side there. Argus's tail! Uh, um, you. Okay. Nothing, nothing killing me yet? Nothing killing me? I do hear slimes. Let's light this up so no witches spawn back here. Ugh, slimes. Come on now, slimes. Is he... Can Yeah, I think he can't fit through here. Oh well. We'll deal with him when he gets here. Ugh, damn. Ugh, this area looks so cool. Okay, ladders. Those are nice, but I never really end up using them. Buttons. Sand. Eh. Ooh, that's nice. I don't need carrots. And flint I don't need. Okay, so that was a little bit of a disappointment. But at least I know. And I did get another storybook. Okay, so let us light things profusely. As we come back through here, we'll take out spawners as we go. That many more levels for enchanting use. I need to get this bow repaired too. That's taking some hits. Hee hee hee. Ooh, I like the knockback. I like it a lot. And you die. I am surprised this area gave me so much trouble. I didn't handle it the best. I let a lot of mobs kind of clump up behind me. I think there was a decent number of just vanilla spawns sitting around here too, waiting for me. So that kind of compounded on things. I just, I made a lot of friends my first time through here. <laughs> okay, you can die. I'll take you on with the sword. Ooh, is there something underneath this chest too? Nope, just for looks. Argus's tail. Craptastic. Eh, yeah. Get rid of the bones. I think I still have plenty of bone meal back at home. Ah! Hey, you. I was not expecting you. And kill you off. And are you down here too? Yes, you are. Man, lots of these guys. I'm far enough along in the map that I doubt I'm really going to need to farm them for brewing stuff. Ooh, there's another good book. Oh, crap. What do I get rid of? I guess I'll just get rid of some blocks. There we go. So that's the same as the other book, right? More or less? No, it's a little different. Cool. Okay, um, let's, let's see. I guess I'm pretty close to my base. I might as well just get back there. We'll read the books, and then I'll do the, the gearing up stuff. I just want to get away from the main area, so I'm not spawning anything that I'm not aware of. Something like that. Okay, let's do some reading. So we have 20, we have 19, we have 18... And 21. Okay, so let's start with 18. All right, story time, children. The four watchers fell upon the woman and brought her to Argus. He smiled as he saw himself look down at her blindly. You caused this, she nodded. You did this for him, she nodded again. So yeah, there's some, uh, some old guy that's actually calling the shots for these people, for her apparently. I can't remember his name. Then you shall die. He reached down with his pale, thin arms and grasped her soft throat. He tightened his grasp as much as he could, but she could still breathe. Through her slight gasps, she laughed. That's not creepy. And let's see, 20. Argus did too, as the watchers sliced her head off. The Palamoc, that's the old guy, the Palamoc stood still and watched the scene with nary a movement. As the woman's head rolled away, it stopped near his feet. He knelt, touched it, and his, dissol and his dissolved into dust. We need to speak. And it dissolved into dust, maybe? I don't know. Now, this Palamoc guy or whatever, I think I must have missed the book where he was introduced, unfortunately. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with all that. So, apologize. Uh, Argus served the Palamoc faithfully. Wait, what? So he just replaced the lady? Gifted life eternal, but the master of death itself, Argus commanded his watchers into the lands of Immoriel, and he single-handedly took the castle Immoriel himself. It was then he retreated and rested. Interesting. Hmm. I'm slightly confused at the goings-on, but I think that's mostly because I just missed some of the books. And did I just I just went completely the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a minute here to re-gear and I will see you guys again in a bit. <laughs> 